Hey everybody, <clears throat> so I'd actually made this video yesterday, but uh, I didn't really quite like how it worked out, so I deleted that one, uh, maybe you've seen it, and I'm making a new one here. So um, this is about how to use a tablet or a uh, two-in-one PC, either way, kind of like a Wacom tablet for your computer. So um, I'll give you a quick idea of, of what I mean here. So. Uh, and I wanted to change one or two things, so that's why I've changed the video. So, just to give you an idea. So that's me using this. Uh, granted, it doesn't look wonderful, but it looks a heck of a lot better than me trying to use this, if you can see that, and write the same thing, which is... A horrible mess yeah so uh, anyways so the reason that I wanted to change it is because I just didn't think the last one was great anyways and because of this Microsoft whiteboard thing so I had said uh, before that active inspire works well and it's okay oh, it takes forever to open up though So it's okay, um, but it's just not quite as, um, I don't know, it's a little more finicky than the Microsoft whiteboard. So, yeah, that's better with two T's, I promise. This is just a little bit easier to use on the Microsoft whiteboard. For whatever reason, it's, it's, uh, it's like more natural or something. So, um, you know, again, Active Inspire works okay. And Active Inspire does have some other tools like the screen recorder and stuff. But uh, if you're using, if you're not using this to be recorded and you're just using it as a whiteboard, Microsoft whiteboard is what I would use. And you can search the Microsoft store, just type in whiteboard, uh, you will see this list of things come up. The first one's Microsoft Whiteboard. When you open it up, uh, this will say either Git or Install, and just do that. Uh, Microsoft Whiteboard is it's it's just nicer than Active Inspire. Um, what I'm using for this is AnyDesk. So uh, if you happen to see the AnyDesk video that I made, basically AnyDesk is a remote desktop software. So this is what it will look like. This is the um, uh, this is the client and the host software. And basically, what I'll do is right now this computer, the desktop, is the host or the server, if you will. And then this two-in-one tablet is the client. And so <clears throat> I'm connecting to the desktop from this tablet. And since the tablet has a touch screen, that's how I'm able to. Uh, to use the touch screen. I, I can use the touch screen from the tablet for the desktop by doing that. And you can also do it with um, with other tablets, uh, Android tablets and iOS and things like that. And actually if you if you search for any desk download you'll find the app. Uh, it works for all of these different operating systems. So right now I've got a Windows desktop with a Windows laptop and so of course it's working fine but you can also do it with Android and other things. And actually, uh, I use my Android tablet more often with AnyDesk, but right now I'm using that as the remote control for, uh, for OBS for recording this. So, um, yeah, uh, basically what you need is you get AnyDesk and connect the two computers so that the computer that has the touch screen is uh, remotely connecting to the computer that you want to have the touch screen on. And then basically the, the touch screen just acts kind of like a mouse or a keyboard. It's just, you know, a natural one that you can use a pen with. And then on the, the computer that you don't have the touch screen on, but you want to use it on, uh, that's where you would install your whiteboard software. And uh, and that's about as easy as it is. Like, um, you wouldn't want to do it for art, you know, obviously. Um, but just for notes and things like that, you know, for meetings, it would be perfect. 
uh, if you're doing something like math or science in particular. So, you know, it works pretty well. Yeah, I don't, I'm not doing the calculations for the stuff for moles and everything, but um, you know, the, the point is it works well for, for formulas and, and for situations where it's easier to, to write with a pen and you don't need to buy a Wacom tablet. So, um, yeah, that's about it. Huh, uh, one other quick thing. I've actually taken this same Casper laptop, which, uh, again, this one's Windows, but I'm just using it because uh, it's got the touch screen. And the thing is, this laptop is really weak and kind of crappy, whereas my desktop is got, got a good processor, lots of memory, good video card. It's, it's much more powerful. So. Um, but it doesn't have a touch screen. I've got it connected to a big old TV. Uh, so if I want touch screen functionality, you know, that's, that's where this comes in. But the other nice thing that I can do with any desk actually is, yeah, that's the OBS remote. You're a little bit late there. So, um, well, I won't show you right now, but I can actually take this and uh, connect this to a Mac that I have as well. Uh, it's actually a Hackintosh. And then what you end up with is a touch screen Mac. And you can do the same thing. So you can do, um, you can use the, the touch screen pen or pencil or whatever you call it, or you can use your finger on Mac OS. And it works pretty well. It's not quite as good as it is with Windows, but it works pretty well. So um, yeah. Yeah, that's about it. Um, AnyDesk, Microsoft Whiteboard, you can use Active Inspire or Paint or some other whiteboard type thing, but Microsoft Whiteboard just seems to work pretty well and uh, you know looks pretty good. And it's got some you know pretty basic tools, but they're tools that that are just you know they're okay. Um, and you connect the two, and then you can have a touch screen on any device that you got. So yeah, all right. If you got questions or whatever, leave them in the comments. I won't answer them. But, you know, it might make you feel better. So, all right. See you around.